repair in the windows if you've got big scrapes in the windows how to get those up okay, but this is quite minging and green but you'll see there already so today we're going to be looking at getting the caravan or motorhome ready for the new season so there's lots of things obviously our normal washing off we've got a video popping up now about where we did with washing the roof off and we use a big stanchion a uh, big set of ladders um, that are all sort of fixed but you can do it with a, a towel or um, some sort of protection on the side and then some ladders you just need somebody to hold the ladders and then wash the roof off and that's where you're going to want to start actually to get the caravan or motorhome clean is with the roof because everything is going to run down the sides and all onto everything that you've done and um, lots of different products out there so um, for the actual washing off caravan magic we've used their sort of crud busters uh, their general cleaner they're all very good and again popping up now is our amazon shop and there's a few different cleaners in there that you can actually use for washing the caravan off um, we've also did i think on the roof cleaning video we use the Genichem traffic film remover with a, a wax in there so they do um like a a really heavy duty cleaner for really really dirty roofs green roofs etc and then it's got a wax in there as well so even though it will sort of get all the muck off it will leave a wax on there as well um, so there's lots of different products out there and there's no real right or wrong products it's what you're going to find that works the best for you um, you don't have to use specific caravan products you can use car products so if you've got car cleaning stuff already utilize that use that don't go out and spend loads of money um, so snow foams again with the pressure washer through the snow foam that's not going to cause any issues what you don't want to be doing is using a pressure washer on the side trying to blast in all the seals because it's just going to cause you issues and leaks so don't use a pressure washer if you're going to use a pressure washer because you've not got a hose use it from a distance just don't go up next to the caravan uh, seals like this if you think oh this is quite dirty in here um, don't use don't be tempted to try and use the pressure washer because it's just going to break this seal down and cause you issues so uh pressure washer no no for sort of getting up close and uh really trying to clean things once you've given it a, a general wash off there's going to probably still be little bits and pieces so our little covers um around the seals etc are still going to have um bits and bobs on there and it might be that some black streaks were still stuck on there so we've done it in the past with our magic sponges and again if you have a look in our amazon shop from the other link you'll find uh these magic sponges and these are really really good for sort of plastics like this now this is a a really really minging one so we're going to try it on on this um and any anything plastic if you've got bodywork paint work they're a little bit abrasive for the paintwork so what i'd possibly say is uh black streaks like these here if you've washed it and they're still quite stubborn a a g10 finishing compound or a um what's it called the uh teacup so just halford sort of teacup uh product and any real black marks that you can't get out try something like that but not really with the magic sponge just with a cloth on these so we're going to have a look at this is just literally out of the pound shop uh, a bit of elbow grease it's cut uh, it's called it's quite good again you can do with this with the normal um washing solution that you've got in the washing bus bucket but this is quite minging and green but you'll see there already I'll try and do the top section uh, what a difference these make to the plastics and it might be that it's not going to get it like absolutely brand spanking new depending on how old it is but it will bring it up a hell of a lot cleaner than what it was and again it's just literally rubbing it on and these will work on sort of your mud guards and um, so if you've got scratches um dirty marks and whatever on the mud guards or anything plastic these will be really good in the shower trays inside the caravan um your different covers out outside anything that's plastic um, these will work really really good um as i said they're called magic sponges and they are absolutely magic uh, we said years ago well a year or so ago about them and that we call them the thousand pound sponge because um, with the covers and what have you the way that they clean them up it just saves you having to replace things and will save you a lot of money over the course of time so um, 
And that just sort of gives you an idea of how they will bring up your plastics. Um, you can, if, um, if you've got really, really stubborn sections, uh, so there's quite dirty marks here. So again, I'm gonna go in, as I said, realistically, um, you wanna be using the sort of, the polish, uh, on the sponge and not using these on the paintwork but if it's a quick wipe over like that it will work and it will get the bits and pieces off there again if you've got these uh, cover strips uh, they'll work on those your infills on your awning rail strips uh, it'll work on all of those and then the little covers I'll do a section down the bottom because I'm not going to do all of this um, so around on the awning rail just a little strip around here is all plastic again and just a quick going over, you can see the difference that that will do. Um, same with your light, so if we've got a little scratch on the light there, um, so you can use these on the lights. And well, again, you've got all the dirt out of that scratch on your light. Yeah, well, what it will actually do is flat the scratch back down. So, this is these magic sponges. They the reason that I say don't use them on the, the bodywork is because it's like using a, a 2000 grit sandpaper. Does um, it feel like it? Yeah, no, it, it doesn't, doesn't. No, it doesn't. But it, they are really, really abrasive. And that's why, if you do it on the side of the caravan that's got a painted finish, it is going to, um, it's just going to go straight through the paint. Um, so again, back panels, front panels, uh, if they're plastic, uh, again we can use these, so if you've washed it and we've got really stubborn marks, um, they will just get all these out. So these, these have got so many applications and we buy these in sort of um, tubs of a hundred because they work really, really, really well. What are they actually made out of? I don't know. I actually don't know. Yeah, I don't know what they are. Because they do feel just like a sponge. Yeah, it does. Yeah, no. Um, this is a perfect one. So they've hit something here uh, and they've scratched the panel. A uh, little bit on the awning rail. So again, things like that. Again, you can polish it. Um, but if it's got sort of a bit of a... This bottom... Can you see that bottom one there? Um, so that's got quite a scroll. I thought that top one had got a scroll, to be fair. And it will actually sort of just polish, polish it out. And again, then on the infills on the awning rails, the actual aluminium panels you're fine with if it's like the awning rail, they'll bring your awning rails up really well. So um, I spent a lot of time on those because they are very, very good. Don't, um, your window, I'd probably say don't use it on your windows. Um, unless you're prepared then to go in with a real good polish and then um, or a, a teacup sort of a thing and then a really good polish um, and again popping up now is a little video that we did on repairing the windows if you've got big scrubs in the windows how to get those up um, generally then um, obviously just going through um, once you give it a really good clean something else that we're going to want to do is our window rubbers um, so the chances are that if we've blown the, um, the spray into the, the window rubbers, we're going to open, want to open the windows, give them a white round. I'll open this one up. So, sort of um, going round afterwards then and just giving our windows a white round on the insides because again they'll be quite dirty underneath of the the window and then what we can do at the same time is with some silicon spray if we spray spray up that window rubber or spray some onto a, a cloth some silicon spray and just do all of our window rubbers a really good time now again to go around do all of the window rubbers um, cassette door rubbers if you've got a locker that goes underneath the bed sort of a thing again just doing all of those rubber seals up now is a really good time to actually do it when you're doing your sort of first big deep clean of the season, getting the caravan ready for the season. Ah, so uh, here are a magic sponge that's made of a melamine foam. Oh, so like a bit like your um, melamine plastic that you'd use for your cutlery and uh, yeah. plates and all that sort of yeah. stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. 
insulation and found soundproofing material. Oh. Hmm? Oh. There you go. That's something new every day. Yeah. Um, so hopefully, um, we have people that have watched the channel previously that, that have probably seen these magic sponges and been using them. But anybody that's new, um, really, really good. Again, another thing that can make a big difference is just a little bit of tyre shine on the tyres. So once you've actually washed the caravan and give it a good clean through, uh, tyre shine on the the tyres will make quite a big difference as well and really bring the tyres up and just make it look um, and stand out really, really well. And obviously, first time that you pull down the road, the caravan's going to get filthy and sort of pull. On the site and it'll look like you haven't washed it but it's nice to sort of if if you go over give it a really good clean you can go that extra mile then of sort of giving it a uh, a good polish and some of the car ceramic coatings that you can literally just spray on there and you sort of spray them on and then wipe them back off again with the cloths um, if you're then going on to site as soon as it rains it will clean it back down quite a lot easier and you'll sort of tend to find that it beads off like the your car does so um, having a look at the different ceramic coatings g-tech is very very good um, we've used those before and they they are very very good for um, a sort of application where you can literally just spray there um, they're coating on, mop it all down, let it dry and then you sort of buff it back up again um, and they do a little one as well which is sort of little droplets that you put onto a sponge and then you go all over so it depends how far that you want to go um, but if you're just looking for a good clean getting all your windows nice and clean getting all those lubricated up and all your lockers that's now the time to do it hopefully you've enjoyed this week's video if you have hit the like hit the subscribe button um, visit our website thecaravanplace.com uh, and have a look what caravans and motor that we've got for sale as well thanks for watching i'm mark at the caravan place